And we're live. Welcome to the review of Sprint 8 of the Common Stack uh, Work Sprints. We had a very successful sprint this, this time. Our goal was to get the word out and, oh, we did, to say the least. Uh, there was a, a really a lot of stuff that happened this sprint, but I'll, I'll just take the reins to start. Uh, one big thing that made a lot of movement was our Swiss membership app. Oops. And uh, it was, it's, it's been a battle. User testing has discovered a lot of uh, bugs, but we have a lot of cool things that we added. Like uh, when someone uh, contributes their membership dues, when they pay membership dues, we'll tell them how many sponsorships that they're paying for. And uh, we'll also tell them if they've reached their match trust level, which is a pretty cool thing that maybe we'll talk about some other time. Uh, and, and this is the thing, our minimum dues are 450, uh, but we create a scholarship uh, opportunity that anyone who feels uh, you know, financially encumbered by $450, they can apply for a membership and get the tokens for free. So that was really great. Uh, and then uh, along getting the word out, we uh, talked, I, I gave a presentation at F Denver Lots of really fun slides, and it was just really fun to really focus on memes and ideas as opposed as a, normally a lot of talks I give are about how the common stack works, but this one was really about our mission and what what the biggest challenge that we over that we have to overcome is this collective psychosis that we have around uh, the requirement of sacrifice to contribute to public goods, and uh, I, I really am just proud of this this meme around collective psychosis and uh, exploitation of altruists that, that it, it evolves into. And that, you know, if someone is providing value, they should be rewarded for that value. And if they're not fairly rewarded, well then we must be exploiting them. And so I, I, I feel like that really hit home with, with that Denver crowd. I'm pretty happy with getting the word out that we need to end the exploitation of altruism. And uh, another big thing that made a lot of progress um, really in the TEC realm, but uh, that I worked on a lot with Vitor, YGG, and, uh, and uh, Fabio is getting, uh, ending the technocracy in, uh, in, DAO, in, in, in like economic creation in the crypto space. Like who chose 32 Ether, right? Who chooses these parameters? It's always the devs. And in the, in the common stack, we're, our goal is to make sure that the communities can design their own economies. So we're helping the TEC in building these tools. I really like this one, it, it shows it off, but it's basically, this is the design framework. And you can see here, it's like, oh, what happens when you uh, change the support required for a DAO to uh, pass a proposal or the, the minimum quorum? and uh, creating a graphical representation so that people can understand it. And then when they're done designing their parameters, making it super easy for them to propose uh, their parameters to the community so they can be voted on. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, these were the big the milestones that were, that were created this week on my side. Uh, what about you, Tam? Uh, what happened in your world? Okay, let me share my screen too. And cool. So these uh, sprint review calls, part of it is uh, us saying goodbye to the last sprint. And uh, this last sprint getting word out, we're about to say goodbye to right after this call. We will clear this sprint board. Uh, we will move everything that's unclosed, that's still open into the product backlog and meet again on Monday morning to reprioritize the entire product backlog for our next two week sprint. And if we look at it, I see we're getting a lot better. We have about 40 still open and 30 closed. Although I think we're going to find right after this call that a lot of these are still closed or actually already closed. They just haven't been, been closed yet. Um, and we take that into consideration when we plan again to, to make sure we plan better each week. Um, in the last review call, I said that the CS Love airdrops are imminent and they dropped the sprint. Uh, they dropped for the first members of the Swiss Association, and two of the shipments have already uh, gone out, so people will start receiving their swag. And uh, the CS Love swag shop only accepts one currency, and that currency is the CS Love token, which I think is super cute. <laughs> And I wanted to share with everyone here too. Uh, but we think it's not fair that people who pay with fiat and other cryptocurrencies can't buy swag as well. So we have a store that is available to them, but it's empty. 
So we have an open call for designers to come help us populate this with really cool merchandise. Um, Chris is going to be championing that initiative. So reach out to him if you are a designer or you know a designer who might be interested in helping us make this look better. And with that, I'm gonna pass now to Livia. Thanks, Tim. Um, oh no, I'm having a problem to share my screen. Should have tested before. Um, Let's see if this works. I updated my computer soon, so I think something happened, but I'll just uh, speak about it. So uh, together with, with Griff and our mission, the sprint of spreading the workout, um, I was really happy to present uh, the TEC in Denver yesterday. So I shared mostly about how uh, we've been doing the cultural build, why a cultural build, and all of the amazing things that are happening in our community, all of the working groups, how you can get involved. Uh, so you can go check it out in the recorded calls. And also uh, there's a forum post, um, sad I can't share, but uh, there's a forum post I made about best practices for decentralized communities. So um, I think this is really interesting for us to exchange ideas between communities, like what have been your best practices. Uh, we had a lot of great insights on what are uh, our best practices, so you can check it out. And also we, oh yeah, there it is, thanks. Um, yeah, so all of those bullet points are uh, great advices from our community members that have been doing such an amazing work on welcoming uh, new people when creating this decentralized community we have. Um, and also uh, we've been onboarding a lot of hatchers and this is really exciting, led by Eduardo with a lot of help from Tamara Griff uh, and many others. We are welcoming people that will initiate this economy. So this is really exciting. We are really close to Hatch. And a last update is that we uh, finished reviewing the trusted seed form. So very soon you're gonna have uh, a new form, uh, more intuitive uh, to apply for the trusted seed to make it even easier for everyone that wants to join us. And I will pass to Chris. All right. So yeah, um, what I worked on uh, this sprint, again, in line with our uh, our theme of getting the word out, is uh, I, I started to kind of reach uh, the inflection point of uh, finishing up some of our back end uh, and infrastructure uh, communications work and started to moving towards some of our more external focused uh, communications. So with that, I sent out our new newsletter, which gave a bunch of different updates on um, just funding, Gitcoin uh, grants, Panvala, Panvala funding, um, Trusted Seed update, um, Trusted Seed Spotlight as well. So a bunch of bunch of different things that went out in that. I'd like to uh, make this a, a more regular newsletter going out, hopefully monthly. I know that's something that uh, we had talked about in the past um, and something I'd like to do moving forward. Um, so keep an eye on your inboxes for uh, forthcoming newsletters. Uh, we also did a small uh, review to the update on the team section. So now all of the team members are on the uh, website and we've done a larger website review, which is moving into uh, some some bigger changes. So keep an eye on the website over the coming, uh, probably the coming months and uh, we should have some fresh stuff coming there. Uh, I was working on both the Discord servers for common stack and the token engineering commons. They're both coming together. Uh, we've got launch plans set aside, set, uh, yeah, launch plans for the common stack server. Uh, the TEC server is, we're slow, slowly moving people in there and just kind of getting, getting all the pieces put in place in terms of uh, onboarding and um, getting, getting things in place for uh, member safety, that sort of thing. Um, we also submitted the uh, 
common stack iteration zero uh, GitHub repo to the stake social um, program to try and get, uh, see if we can get some dev staking uh, for some more fundraising for our initiatives. Uh, so that has gone through and I'm working, working to kind of finalize that and see where that can go. Uh, we've also got another email coming forward uh, that will be uh, uh, kind of selling our uh, AMA. So uh, announcing and, and letting you know that you can join us and ask us anything that you would that's on your mind about Comstack, TEC, whatever, uh, whatever you got uh, burning in your brain, or, or we'd be happy to answer. Um, and the last thing is I'm working on improving our external comms pieces. So like I said, uh, kind of at an inflection point right now, hopefully where we can shift a little bit of, uh, of my attention from um, background and infrastructure tasks to more, um, more of our external comms and pushing some of what we're doing to the rest of the community. So that's, uh, that's hopefully my goal and focus for the next sprint. And yeah, uh, I will pass that, pass it to Dan. Hello. Uh, hopefully you guys are hearing me. I have the, some issues there. Um, oh, nice. <laughs> That's always, you know, I brought a couple of friends over here, but anyway. Uh, yes, it was an interesting sprint. I mean, like, uh, lots of work on infrastructure. Uh, so basically, like, uh, lots of work on Hotspot. Hotspot is basically ready. Uh, migrating some parts of the trusted seed process over there. So you will be getting you will get any emails from there instead of MailChimp, but yeah, that's that's fun. There's a lot of customization and categorization we can do over there. Uh, if you think about numbers, we have in the database like more than 600 people, but yeah, I mean, there is a lot of, of cleanups and data integrity to be done. Uh, we are doing that. Uh, we are categorizing to better serve the community and better understand who is out there who is interacting with us. So that's going to be fun. So it's going to be more targeted comms and, and some other fun stuff. And this is great thinking that we are having a lot of work from Chris uh, with the coming Discord server. So yeah, just understanding who really wants to tap into being a contributor or having other kinds of combos, that is going to be interesting. Um, so basically just as well, we uh, had initiated a process for tracking as these other inbound cows and a trusted seed dashboard. So yeah, just after the integrity of the data is coming together, we will understand like better who is in trusted seed in terms of numbers and uh, how we can interact with that and add value, you know, very, in a very circular way. Uh, so yes, uh, in that perspective, uh, just as well as Chris mentioned, we will be having an ask me anything, which I think is mostly like an ask me everything, you know, there are a lot of questions out there like booming and coming over and emerging. So that is coming, and uh, just as well, I wanna, oh, I wanna show you uh, something briefly, but basically, oh, and just as well, let you guys know that we have uh, 22 new applicants to the trusted seat in this spring, so in the last two weeks, and that's fun. Okay, those are the notes, and this is my board. Uh, you can see there is a lot of process instead of other things that I can show. I cannot really show the hotspot because, you know, data, privacy, yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> I can show you how the emails are coming together over there. So this is the migration. These emails will be updated uh, just like the type form, but all of this is coming to understand how we bridge for the people that had reached and are coming into the value flow, but really want to go to the TEC, for example, or really want to tap into some specific uh, streams. We also, in terms of combos that we have, and Jess is gonna talk about others, but we had a conversation with the guys for Positive Blockchain that are doing a great work of understanding what is out there in several institutions and the startups. So this is a beautiful database if you haven't jumped into it. It's very, very specific on the types and categorizations. So thinking about that from the perspective of individuals, uh, yeah, that's a lot, a lot of things that I had in my mind. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass it to Jess now. So thank you guys. Thanks, Dan. It's been a fun week. Uh, I am going to share my screen. Sorry, I'm doing a bit of multitasking. Oh, can you hear that? Oh, man. 
Hold on. I'm actually in a waiting room for ETH Denver right now, about to present for the hackathon. So I apologize. Um, I'll have to tell Gary to chill on the music, but I hope you enjoyed that. Oh no. Stand by. I'm having some technical technical difficulties. Okay, it's always jump. I'm going to jump out for a minute from that room. Okay, can you see my screen? Yeah. Oh, great. So you caught Gary there. Yep, that was the waiting room for our presentation for um, the DDP Daosh and waging peace with peace bonds. So that will, could come in another note, depending on whether or not we succeed in the hackathon. Meantime, back here in Common Stack and TEC side, a few fun things to show off. Um, we released finally our Trust and Seed Spotlight number three. We've been so busy building, but we cranked that out because we really wanted to share um, the wisdom from Trent. He's one of the founders of the concept of token engineering. And so uh, we were kind of rereading his first vlog, going back to the roots of token engineering. And he had some really, really, really cool insights on this video and what he sees as the most highest leverage um, impact in the space right now. And, and so, yeah, check that out. Uh, it's on Twitter. You can catch it. And then um, I joined the Swiss Association. So that was a task for me and, and reported on some uh, improvements there with the UI UX. So that was fun. And then we had a really great conversation with Seeds. Uh, you may have heard of them, a very successful cryptocurrency project who's looking at how to create bioregional economies. So we are looking at ways to collaborate and are solidifying a partnership. They also offered for anyone in our community to come and uh, share knowledge with their regenerative renaissance university that they've started. Very cool initiative. So they're opening it up. Uh, we may have the TEC Graviton training joined, which is the conflict management course. So it's a really cool opportunity for uh, people in the ecosystem to come together and share knowledge. And it's a cool program because it's not just stake in participation, it's stake on, on participation plus earn. So you can actually earn seeds. They're going to pay you to learn. So that's a really cool model that we can share and spread in the community. Um, and then on the TEC side, just a couple of things. A preview look at our new flashy website, uh, peering into the wormhole of the warped universe and NFT um, inspirations, sustainable and ethical design for token ecosystems. Uh, really cool uh, project we've been working on to get this out with Marco and um, Jake. And uh, it's, it's going to be our new calling card for the TEC and kind of help to harness some energy um, coming up. And we listed our wonderful partners there from Token Engineering, SourceCred, uh, Common Stack, of course, Block Science, CADCAD, and OneHive. So it, that will be up soon at tecommons.org. Org. The next thing we have to share is a really nice piece in a, another guest blog. We still have guest blog submissions open with the TEC Medium publication. So if you're a thought leader, if you want to share your project, it's a great space and platform for you to do that. Our contributor, Nate, um, shared a really cool article about some of the challenges that DAOs face and reflections from being a new member in the TEC. And some people were pulling out some really cool quotes um, on Twitter here. Um, so yeah, check that out. If you've got a cup of coffee, tea, check out Nate's article. It's really, really well done. And then uh, also wanted to share, we are starting to have meme parties. So this was Griff's, uh, this was the winner for every 20 memes. We have one that's actually appropriate enough to share on Twitter, but if you wanna see the fun inappropriate ones, inappropriate, um, you'll have to join our new TEC Discord and jump into the meme. Uh, meme channel when we launched that. So that's a fun initiative and anyone is welcome to join. If you've got a common stack meme, we'd love to see it. You can post it in the Trusted Seed channel or in our main channel. We'd love to see some more meme action. So this is an initiative to kind of jumpstart that a bit. And then um, finally, on the common stack slash TEC side, we supported the uh, token engineering and their launch of the Gitcoin CADCAD model research group. So they've got some really cool stuff uh, coming out of that. They have uh, two sessions per week, a live coding and hacking session and an academic session. So, uh, and then 
Angela with TE Academy is running a course concurrently. So it will be interesting to see what kind of cool documentation and research comes out of that. And yeah, lots of action on the TEC Twitter. So if you haven't yet had a chance, go check it out at Tech MNS. There's so much happening in the community, all kind of knowledge sharing initiatives going on. So with that, I will pass to Jeff. I'll try to stop sharing screen now. There we go. I'll take that over. Just a moment here. Perfect. Um, awesome. So um, a lot of my focus this sprint was on uh, preparing article drafts, which isn't extremely exciting to show. So I thought I would walk uh, through briefly the uh, common stack notion, how it's coming together so far. Um, so one thing um, was uh, just sort of organizing our content into sort of a um, normal flow of information. So like, you know, where to start, you know, what is the common stack? Um, looking at our at our notion, um, or sorry, our notion, our Medium account. Uh, Medium isn't really set up this way where it's like showing your oldest articles to your newest articles or vice versa even. Um, so I figured the, the notion would be a good spot to kind of aggregate all of these articles. So we have, what is the common stack? Why do we need it? Um, some high level stuff, some deep dives into each of our components. Um, some of the stuff we've put out on, you know, a bunch on conviction voting, the trusted seed, C stack tokens, token engineering foundations. So basically just putting it um, sort of if someone were to come upon the common stack tomorrow and needed to learn from A to Z what we're all about, um, this could be a good resource for that. So working on pulling together some of these um, um, external documents for our community um, and also internal for, you know, helping us to organize um, the common stack uh, outside of just, you know, GitHub task tracking board. Um, so we've identified these different uh, priorities of the common stack, different working areas. Um, and a lot of this will be internal, but just wanted to show our community um, sort of what's what's currently going on. Um, there was basically, uh, yeah, we started chatting about having a research lab in the common stack and uh, we got a lot of positive feedback that, uh, you know, there we'd like more transparency and um, uh, engagement in the various research initiatives going on. So um, this is kind of one of the areas that's being fleshed out in particular, but yeah, really hoping to uh, create the notion of place that we can store, you know, all of our repos, all of our links, um, some of the updates to what's going on. Um, of course, we can link these to the appropriate GitHub issues. Um, but yeah, just wanted to give an idea of, you know, the kind of organization that can go into these, just, you know, all of our research outputs, all of our recordings, everything produced, images, whatnot, um, and just kind of have these as um, sort of a one-stop shop for um, where stuff can go. And of course, we can build on this as needed. Um, Chris, we were chatting about, you know, an evergreen content list. We can track that in uh, under common stack communications. Um, and anyway, there's uh, still very early uh, with this work, but just hoping this can be a useful spot, um, both for our internal team and our external community, um, how they can engage with all our content and keep up with the latest um, because, you know, it's difficult to update the website every time we have something new, but hey, it can go right on here and we can share this easily as a, a TLDR and, and push it out on uh, tweets and forums and, and so on. So that was all I wanted to share this week. So I will pass it back to Griff. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. And actually, I want to share one more thing that about how we got the word out uh, this round. Uh, we have an awesome, we are an ecosystem funder, uh, as Jeff so eloquently stated, and uh, Chris mentioned this as well, that we actually uh, work with the Panvala League in a partnership to uh, distribute funding to all the common stack, to the C-Stack token holders' favorite Gitcoin projects, and generally they're aligned with our mission as well, so uh, we were able to score an extra five grand for the common stack, yay, uh, and, and four, four grand for CAD CAD and OneHive, Common Simulator got two grand worth of pan. Giveth got 1,500. Ethereum Explorer, this is Chris's uh, uh, project to demystify Ethereum, got a lot of funding. And it's really cool the way that we actually collect the funds and distribute it. The first round of funding goes to people who raised less than $1,000 in Gitcoin so that we can distribute the funds egalitarian in an egalitarian way to all of the people, all of our favorite grants. Uh, and then after that, we, we give credit to the people who got the highest votes. Uh, so this, this round we were able to get to uh, all the way to goal four, 
So the first first goal is any, anyone who didn't get a thousand dollars, let's bring you up to a thousand dollars. Second goal is first place gets four grand, second place gets three. Da 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 da. Right. The goal three is everybody gets a thousand if we if we raise uh, enough to cover it. And then we just started to get into goal four, which is everyone gets uh, everyone gets a thousand. Uh, and but we didn't get all the way through it. So hopefully next Gitcoin round we can get some more pan donations to our uh, grant. And uh, thank you to GovBase, Token Engineering Academy, Token Engineering Commons, Conviction Voting Model Improvements, Columbia and Ethereum Community Pen, uh, Pandemic Pods. This is by Craig and AMW Fund. Fight Pandemics, Decentralized Education, and Whaler Dow. Thank you for being uh, for everything that you do, and uh, thanks for being part of the community fund. Uh, and with that. Thank you for listening to uh, what we got done this week. Really appreciate uh, you, you for supporting us. And hopefully next round, uh, we'll, we'll continue to make you proud. Uh, so thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs>